hey guys welcome back to my channel so here i'm just you know getting up for the morning starting to brush my hair getting ready to you know brush my teeth basically my morning basics when i'm getting ready for work I'm gonna go ahead and use my rose facial oil and that's just gonna make sure that before I put my moisturizer on that I just have a extra level of moisturizing and then I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica moisturizer just to make sure that my skin is extra hydrated for the day okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my makeup routine um, I go with my primer just gonna use my fingers but... So you guys can probably definitely tell the difference between my voice in the morning and my voice now. First of all, I'm not a morning person, and second of all, I just found out that I have bronchitis. So if you guys are wondering why, there's a little bit of an explanation for you. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the Toddy uh, Blendiful. All right, then I'm gonna go in with my concealer. As you guys can see, I'm just letting my concealer, you know, set under there since it is more of a dewy concealer. I like to make sure that it sits for extra coverage. So while I'm doing my eyebrows, I just let that sit and then later I'll go ahead and blend in with my Blendiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and take um, the Blendiful again and then just blend out the concealer. back in um same thing i used yesterday just the um blinding y'all um the covergirl press powder and i'll make sure to put in uh the products that i used um if you're looking they'll be like the prices what shade i am all of that in the description box the next thing i'm going to go in is with the elf halo glow setting powder um i've only used this once and I don't really, like, I really, I think it's more, definitely, like, more glowy. And I don't know how I feel about that with a lot of it under my under eye. So I'm just going to do just a little bit. Because last time I really did it, I was like, okay. I don't know. Just was too much, I think. I think that should be good. And then what I'll do is... I'll go ahead and like he used the rest of it like to like grab a big like fluffy brush. I'm gonna use for bronzer, contour, or whatever. Um, it's actually gonna be this. Um, this is part of a palette that I got myself for Christmas. I'm gonna have to be careful because the highlighters are it came like broken, which I was pretty upset about, but I got it on Amazon and I knew it was gonna sell out. Um, it's the physician's formula. Uh what I like about this is that you can like kind of like mix the shades of bronze. As you guys can see, I'm going ahead and bronzing up the sides of my cheeks on my forehead. I like to pull my hair back just to make sure that the product, you know, really gets applied evenly over my face. And then I'm just going back with a smaller angled brush just to make sure that I'm getting in that contour where I need it. The physician's formula, which is what I really like. Um, these are like lip shades. Um, this is blush and this is eyeshadow. I'm gonna actually use some of that lip stuff to get some color and moisture on my lips. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in, I'm just kinda going for like a neutral look. I'm probably just gonna go in with um, that one right there. The bottom one, which is like the bigger pan. take this part of the physician's formula ultimate collection and i'm gonna go in with like that kind of like light tan color which will be good for like a transition shade um before i started using eyeshadow i used to just use bronzer in my like 
crease or whatever. And then it's kind of like, you know, it matches your whole face. But I can just use the palette for this one. And one tip that I like to do on my eye is like go a little bit like outward because you can see like this part of my eye, I just go like wing it out just a little bit. That way it creates like the illusion that like my eyes are huge, which they kind of are a little bit already, but so whatever. Next shade I'm gonna go into kind of kind of build it up a little bit. It's gonna be that shade right there. Tap off the excess. Like I mentioned yesterday, the big thing about eyeshadow that I had to learn was less is more. I always thought like if you like put a lot on the brushes, you're gonna have like more like colorful eye look or whatever. And that's not always the case because then you have like this gloop of stuff on your eyes and it's not pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into that like white shade up top and just kind of, I like to use my finger. I feel like should, sometimes it's just the best way to like get stuff to lay down. It just depends. So I kind of have like a little bit of a white, and I kind of do that when I make when I want to make um what's the word shadow stand out. So I'm gonna go in with like this kind of um this shade right here. It's kind of like a champagne-y. Um, Color. Really pretty. Morphe M10 M510 brush, excuse me. Just kind of go back and forth with the highlighter. Chin, face. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I'm gonna go in with the um, my CoverGirl one. I'm not gonna even like try and say the whole name because I'm gonna like mess it up. But yeah, it's just the uncensored version. This is like a pretty new one. Um. So, I was like trying to find it on Target, even though that's where I got it. I got it from Target, like in the store. Um, I couldn't find it on their website, but I mean, I might have been looking wrong. I was able to find it on their CoverGirl website, and that's where I got like the name, the price, everything else like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my mascara. ready for me I just usually like iced coffee in the morning and then pick up my outfit for work I'm going ahead and filling up my coffee maker with water grabbing my coffee grounds with a coffee filter you know basic stuff to make coffee and then just setting on my um, settings and then just adding my cream to my iced coffee and then my iced coffee is good to go and then just kind of for my outfit just seeing me you know earrings, necklace, and bracelets. Um, the blazer is from H&M. The shirt's also from H&M. Um, these are just some dress pants or like go to the ankle. Um, and then just some black uh, flats for work. But yep, that's just kind of like my little work day outfit. But um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you'll just like, comment, subscribe. Um, ring the bell so you can get a video every time that I post something. I may be awkward, may not be awkward. 
being awkward right now but i appreciate it and i hope you guys have a good day bye